My biggest fear is getting a bad review and having that negatively impact all my business down the road. Would love to hear your thoughts on this issue. What's happening? Welcome back to Speak Easy live from the comments section. This is where I answer the most asked questions from the comments section. If this is the first time we're meeting, let me just introduce myself quickly. My name is Anna, and just like you, I'm a freelance voiceover talent. And really, the goal of this channel is simple to share some practical tips and tricks that I learned during my journey as a voiceover to you. So go ahead and subscribe if you want more videos like this one. All right, so let's get to the first question for today. This is coming from Scott Trapp. Hi, Scott. Hi, Anna. Thank you so much for making these videos. You're very welcome. My biggest fear is getting a bad review and having that negatively impact all my business down the road. Would love to hear your thoughts on this issue. Okay, Scott, you know what? We're all afraid of getting uh, bad reviews. And I get you because they kind of affect your um, status on Fiverr as well, since this is the Fiverr edition. If you, for example, if five of your customers give you outstanding review and one gives you a four. So for example, five gave five and one, the sixth one gives you four. It does bring it down almost instantly. So it's like it becomes five from five. It becomes 4.9. And I get that that is scary. And aside from that, you would also get reviews like, oh, you know, I wish they could have done it differently or I wish this person could do this and do that, but they didn't and oh well. So it's there on your profile gig forever. It will live there. But I suggest that you do it afraid anyway. Just don't focus on the bad reviews because you know what? All of us were bound to get a bad review in our entire career. It's okay if you get it now, if you get it in the front end, in the middle end, or at the last end of your career, it doesn't matter because we're bound to get a bad review and that should be okay with you. That shouldn't stop you from pursuing this career if you want to really make it your business. Um, protect yourself from that and don't take it personally because you know people have different views on everything. and. Voiceover is not exempted from that. So do it afraid, do it anyway. And even if you get that bad review, oh, well, you have that five good reviews anyway, and it's just the one. Now it's different if you're getting like bad reviews all the time, you should really check on yourself if that is the case. But if it's just one or two bad reviews, just tell yourself, hey, I'm not the only one who has gotten a bad review because all of us, all of us will get a bad review from our clients. So do it afraid, Scott, and don't let them bring you down. All right. I hope that helps. Okay. I think we are down to the last question, but I do want to have a comment of the day. So let me read the comment of the day. It says, hello, Anna, how are you? I'm Esmeralda from Argentina. Hello. Recently, I've discovered your YouTube channel and also your Instagram. I've been watching your YouTube videos and trying to learn as much as possible since I'd love to work in projects on, in Fiverr. I love the way you explain things. Thank you so much. I'm still trying to work on my Fiverr profile and trying to find more information about how to record my voiceover gigs. Anyway, I'll keep watching your videos. Take care and greetings from Argentina. Yay! Thank you so much for letting me know, Esmeralda, that I am of help to you in your voiceover journey. And whatever it is that you need, please do go through my channel because I have been churning out videos that will help you to do exactly this, how to start recording your voiceover gigs. I have videos on that and I have videos on how to work on your Fiverr profile as well. So I wish you the best of luck in your voiceover journey, Esmeralda, and thank you so much for your lovely comment. All right, so we are down to the last question of the day. This is back to the YouTube comment section. And this is coming from 
Duan Bass. 9464. You know what? Next time, please do give me your exact name so that I can greet you better and not sabotage your name. <laughs> I'm sorry anyway, but he says, Hi, Anna. Thank you for this amazing video. I was wondering if you can give some information about the commercial rights and broadcast rights, how we provide them, etc. Thank you so much. This is something that I have been asked a lot on Fiverr. And if I'm being honest, I'm so grateful for Fiverr for doing this, for allowing us the opportunity to offer our clients for a buyout from a project. But just so you can better understand what it means, let's identify commercial rights and broadcast rights as how Fiverr would actually define them because this is the Fiverr edition of uh, Speak Easy Live from the comments section. So I'm going to Fiverr right now and it says, commercial rights provide your buyer commercial rights or buyout for promoting their product or service in non-paid marketing channels. So the easy question that you might have there is what are non-paid marketing uh, channel. So that would refer to um, business development, maybe in social media, or maybe a collaboration uh, with other people that allows your client to actually advertise their product or whatever they have for free. So they don't pay anything for that. So you can charge uh, commercial rights buyout for that. Okay, so that's what it means. Now, for full broadcast right on Fiverr, it says uh, provide your buyers full broadcasting rights or buyout for advertising their product or service in paid broadcasting channels. So easily that's radio, that's TV, and even the internet. So they are paying for the spot. Uh, for their commercial, their ads, or whatever it is to be shown to the audience of that program. So if they're paying, it means the return or the possibility of a return is high. So that's why they're shelling money to um, actually get the spot on either a TV program, a radio program, or on the internet, which means you should charge more for that because they will have uh, more profit from that. So why do they need to buy you out? It's kind of like... Um, uh, they just want to make sure that you will not run after them because they are planning to use this commercial. Let's just say we voiced something for a TV commercial, okay? So they plan to use this TV commercial for a long, long time. So instead of paying you all throughout that time for using your voice, because they will be using your voice all the time, they just want to buy you out in the front end from the very beginning. Okay. So they, so they will ask you for your rate on how much to buy you out so that they can tell you if you decide to run after them, Hey, no, we have this contract that you no longer have the right to this project because you, we bought you out from the very beginning. That's the reason why they would offer to buy you out. So should you take it? Yes, you should. Because really you can't find out if they're using the commercial over and over again. You cannot, especially if they're from another country. And it's not worth your time to always be like watching television or listening to the radio just to find out if somebody's using your voice for the commercial, okay? So just, be bought out from the project. So I always do that. That's why one of my questions is always, where are you going to use this? Is it for a commercial? Is it for a broadcast? And then I would charge them accordingly. So I can't really um, tell you or dictate how much you should charge. You should um, research on that and find out how much you feel you should charge. But I do charge more for a full uh, broadcast buyout, then I would 
I would for a commercial buyout, but my full broadcast buyout, I just automatically, even if I don't verbally tell them, I would just automatically include the commercial buyout as well. So you figure out how much you want to charge for a commercial rights buyout or a full broadcast buyout. And I hope that you understood my explanation on this one. What's your name again? Duron Base 946. For. Well, there you go. The questions that I picked out from the comment section. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you who sent your questions so that I can answer it, not just for you, but for every other voiceover talents out there who might have the same questions in mind. And if you want to send your questions as well, go ahead and send them my way. You can send it here right now here down at the comments section and I'll check them out. And you can also send them via Facebook and Instagram and I will make sure to go through them and pick out the most asked questions. And you'll never know, yours might be featured on the next Speakeasy live from the comments section. Thank you so much for always supporting this channel. It means the world to me and I'll try to keep making more videos that will help you in your voiceover journey. And with that, I'll wish you all a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers!